Um, after so many fellow contributors fell ill on the way here this morning, when my wife told me to break the leg, I mean, <laughs> well, I didn't break the leg, not yet. So, um, well, we were we were asked as some um, contributors to to New Poetry to to write on a poem on on the on the blog, and um, I wasn't going to read this poem, but William Medford wrote what I think. I, I think he gave it a very good account. So. Family business. The boatman stares through million pockmarked waters, tapping a cigarette, shying from the rain in Mac and Wellies, beneath a London plain that rustles and drips. He turns and tells his daughter to bolt the hut. Tonight the sun is over. He heaves the skiff to the boat shed, ties the lines and double locks the door. She fits a sign closed for season. They load a battered Land Rover with cashed in radio keys as fast as they can for it's raining harder. Lightning blanks the dark and runs <coughs> away, the wiper thwacking its arc. She glances at this ordinary man, then shuts her eyes. She's damp and tired and bored. He drives more gently, neither says a word. The second poem I'm going to read is, um, well, as it's two days before Remembrance Day, I sort of felt I had to read this poem. What Passing Bells? A policeman blocks the road, so I stop and tut and tap the wheel and find a suite and scrape it through its wrapper with my teeth. More cars stop, then bright rustling up the street from snare drums and some reedy trumpet remind us all what day it is. In front, the noise grows to a wail. The band files past, the soldiers, local groups, then ranks of kids half out of time with backs and shoulders stiff. Some looking at us, looking at them for just long enough to say a thousand words in glares. They don't remember any wars, but TV ones, and nor confess to you. Just TV wars, most justice compromised in barren lands, for rich commodities I'm using up. A quiet friend by my side, with best intentions, clothes from Oxfam shops, our flask packed for a cold stroll by the sea. <laughs> 